Hey guys, Ali here. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a restaurant called Wok and Box. These guys are based in Ashton. They have a pan Asian menu. They look really, really cool. Super excited to try these guys. I know a lot of my friends in Ashton go to places like Manchester City Centre, they go to Oldham, places like that for food. So whenever a new place in Ashton opens, I always make sure to try it. These guys seem like a really, really welcome addition to Ashton. So super excited to go inside. But just before I do that, if you haven't already guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button we're building a really cool foodie community here so if you are a foodie make sure you enjoy the video but do hit that subscribe button but anyway without further ado let's get cracking hey guys so we're inside now just having a, a really really quick look at the menu my initial thoughts are looks really cool this actually reminds me of my travels so we've got a little sort of sides and starters section here we've got mains here so that's like an a la carte sort of style thing however we've got to create your own box as well which is pretty cool so you can pick like a, a style so maybe sweet and sour or like black bean then you'd pick a, a meat or a veg option so maybe beef or tofu something along those lines and then you actually pick your base so you can have for example udon noodles you can have fried rice so you can essentially customize and make your own box which is pretty cool i'm probably going to go for uh, the sides and starters here there's a sharing platter and then a couple of mains i'm probably not going to make my own however that if you do want to make your own is a really really cool option as well Right, so I placed my order. They're just making the food now. They've got like an open kitchen setup. It's really, really cool. Yeah, got a little bit excited. Ordered a fair bit of food. Cannot wait for it to come out. I'm very, very hungry and very excited to show you guys some really, really cool Asian dishes. Okay, like I said, I've ordered a fair bit of food. They're bringing the dishes out as they're ready. The two dishes that are ready now is the satay chicken and the firecracker beef. So both these dishes look fantastic. They smell phenomenal. Let me go for the satay chicken first. I actually had this a lot when I was in Malaysia. I had it a lot in the islands of Thailand. I had this a lot in Indonesia as well. So it's super, super popular in Southeast Asia. Let's give this a go. As you can see, I'm dipping it into some satay sauce. This is a nutty sauce rather than a spicy type of satay. Let's give it a go. Both elements of this dish are absolutely fantastic. The sauce is amazing. It's really good nuttiness to it, but a little kick as well. The chicken is really tender, super soft. That is an absolutely fantastic start. And it's actually a really, really healthy portion size there as well. Guys, awesome start. Yeah, love that start. Took me right back to Malaysia, that is awesome. Right, now we're gonna go for the firecracker. I've added beef to this. This looks and smells amazing. It looks like it's got a decent amount of chili in it as well. I love my spice. This looks right up my street. Let's give it a go. Amazing depth of flavor there. That is awesome. Really, really full, rich. Like I said, super spicy. It's got a ton of rice at the bottom as well. Some sticky rice there, which is delicious. This, guys, is a really, really good dish. I would say if you're a spice head, perfect for you. If you're not, probably not, but this, for me, is fantastic. Like the satay, really, really generous portion as well on the firecracker chicken. I'm gonna move on to the other dishes, but the first two dishes are absolutely fantastic. Okay, so I'm now going to have the sharing platter. This is 12 pounds and it comes with two drinks as well. After this, I'm actually gonna go for the nasi goreng, which is one of my favorite Indonesian dishes. I lived on this, actually, when I was in Indonesia, but first things first, let's go for this platter. There's quite a lot going on here, actually. They've got some sticky rice, they've got some chips, they've got some firecracker wings. Oh, there's some chicken bites, which actually come in fish bites as well, but these are actually chicken. They've got chicken bites and fish bites. The sharing platter comes with chicken. There's some spring rolls. There's some gyoza. They're more like empanadas, really, but they look really, really good. So I'm gonna crack on with these. All right, okay, let's do it. Let's first go for, let's go for the chicken bites. Now, the actual platter itself comes with a few sauces as well. This one, yeah, that's sweet chili. These are the chicken bites. Like I said, these come as fish bites or chicken, but in the sharing platter, they come as chicken bites. You can order the fish bites separately. All right, let's get a good little dip there. I like the batter actually on that chicken. It's almost got a, a little bit of like a pakora vibe. Not, it's not pakora, <laughs> but a little bit. I like that sort of masala -y taste to it. Delicious, let's move on. Right, dip in the spring rolls and the sriracha mayo. Everyone's gonna say, why are you dipping it in the sweet chili? Because I don't want to. Ooh. Really hot, really crispy on the outside. It's got a really like sort of wet feeling on the inside, and I mean that as an actual compliment. Sometimes spring rolls get a bit dry. This is actually, it's got a really, really good wetness to it. Actually, really, really nice. You want it crunchy on the outside and soft and gooey on the inside. 
I should say that actually the spring rolls were vegetable spring rolls. Moving on to the firecracker wings. Anything like the firecracker dish that I just had a second ago, these would be super spicy. Let's give them a go. They look pretty awesome, guys. They look pretty awesome. Mmm. Spicy, like the firecracker beef I just had, but there's a touch of sweetness there. That is delicious. The meat quality itself is good. You've got uh, five wings in there. So that's a really, really generous portion size as well. And a really, really tasty wing. Moving on now, next to, let's go for the gyoza. The list of this gyoza, they look more like empanadas if I'm being honest, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's a style of gyoza that I'm not aware of. Looking forward to trying them either way. Let's dip these in the, in the sweet and sour. I did not expect that, and I like it a lot. I'm, I'm tempted just to jump up and actually ask the owner what's in that. I know it's chicken. I can't quite place the flavor. Let me actually just bring this to the camera because I kind of want you guys to see the inside of this gyoza. Can you guys see that? It's absolutely delicious, it's meaty. I love actually the wrapper, the pastry around it. The meat itself is delicious. I think this is actually a homemade recipe by the guys who own Wok and Box. I was chatting to uh, the chap behind the counter. He actually said it's his mum's recipe. I've never had anything quite like that and I love it. It's absolutely delicious. This is, this is cool. I was not expecting that at all. Right, next move on to the chips. I should say these guys actually have firecracker chips, katsu chips, and salt and pepper chips. These are plain chips, but they've actually got a pretty cool chip selection. So next time I come, I'm gonna order all of the chips. Also, don't you guys find it funny when you go to a restaurant and your missus eats chips like this? This is how she eats them. As soon as you go home, they're doing one of these. This platter, guys, is awesome for 12 pounds. The amount of meat and food you get, you get two drinks as well. You cannot go wrong with that. But I'm super excited to actually move on to the nasi goreng, one of my favorite dishes. Guys, right, this is the nasi goreng. Traditionally has an egg with it, but guys, oh, runny egg. That is what is up. I cannot wait to tuck into this. This is an incredibly popular dish in Indonesia. I lived off this actually when I was out there. I ate this pretty much every single day. I love a good nasi goreng. Traditionally, this does have chicken and prawns. Generally, I'm not a massive fan of prawns actually, but in this dish, I don't mind it. Like I said, nasi goreng is one of my favorite all time dishes. Let's give it a go. Honestly, that just takes me back to actually my travels. Each bite is just... Honestly, very nostalgic, delicious. It's a massive portion. The flavors are really rich. The flavor profile of nasi goreng in general, I love it. It's a good amount of rice. There's a bit of spice there. It's got peppers. It's got some seafood in, if you like that. It's got a decent amount of chicken. And then the egg on top just finishes it, man. It's absolutely amazing. What I should say, the egg is actually an optional extra. It's 50p for the egg. I would highly suggest for that authenticity, for the taste, just for the general experience, I would highly suggest you get that fried egg on top. But overall, guys, this is an enormous portion. It's absolutely delicious. And honestly, it's actually very authentic. Like I said, I've been to Indonesia. Be lucky enough to go. I lived off this stuff. And this is very, very authentic. You know, the food scene in Ashton, let's be fair, I don't think it's actually fantastic. Is that fair? I think it's fair. It's not the best food scene, right? So most of my friends, like I said earlier, in the Ashton area, they'll typically drive to maybe Manchester, maybe Oldham. So it's great when I see a place like this, which is new, family run, it's authentic, it's delicious. The cuisines are really, really varied. They've got stuff from all over Southeast Asia. This is a very welcome addition to the Ashton food scene. Right guys, so final thoughts. Like I said before, these guys are a super welcome addition to Ashton. Really, really enjoyed my time in there. I love Asian food and the fact that it's like a pan-Asian restaurant, so you've got a few bits and bobs from all over Asia. I think that is absolutely awesome. Also, as it happens, such a small world, right? I actually know the owner of that restaurant. I played tennis with him back in like, 2012 back in uni days so small world i'm so glad i like the food because if i didn't like the food that would have been very very awkward <laughs> anyway guys that takes me to the end of the video hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have please remember to hit that like button remember to subscribe and i'll see you guys in that next video bye 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 b